Okay, guys, Shelly's got rivets. I have rivets! And she is fired up. I have rivets, people. Check it out. I have a box full of rivets. So um, that means I can go along and rivet all of the hinges out here all along this side of the bus because we ran out yesterday. So that's what I'm going to be doing. While you're doing that, I'm going back and drilling this mounting hole bigger. I'm drilling those holes out and then tapping that hole underneath for a quarter 20 bolt. That sounds good. And that way we don't have to have any nuts or reach underneath. Yeah, let's see if you can still rip it. Talking pretty big this morning. I see what you're saying. Big talker, big talker. Let's let some rivets do some walking here. Well, that'll be the test is if I can get these in, huh? Let me see, let me see. Quality control. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! I can do this. <laughs> Let these down like that. And then our bolts will go up. We can just tighten them down. And if we want to, we can just tip them up. Do whatever we want. Okay guys, we're pulling the uh, solar panel connectors down. Shelly's up on the roof. Pass it through. Hey, YouTube. In the picture. Hi, YouTube. What's happening? That's through the wall of the bus. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> okay, black cable coming down. All right, guys. So I'm no expert on this solar stuff. Should really get your advice for that from an expert. But what we're doing is looking. We got 10 panels. That's enough. We got 10 panels up there and we hooked them up in pairs of two. And uh, then we're feeding the wires through into this combiner box. And we've been working at it pretty much the whole day. So anyhow, that's what we're doing. But like I said, I'm really not an expert on this. I'm using the MC4 connectors. Um, so basically just sharing what we're doing here. <laughs> I'll show you how we put the connectors on when we go up top. Come over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this one's tight. Yeah, I remember it's the first one we before we started putting the shims in it. Before we figured out what we were doing. Okay. Shelly's got this figured out, guys. I can just sit and watch them. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, she's coming over to this pair. Oh, they missed that. Huh? What? They missed that little thumbs up. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna come to here and tie into this, and then come up here. Okay. So. <sighs> coming across tight so that's good right yeah okay we're ready to put our doohickeys on that's your job okay so he's got to cut our bundles apart Let's see hey guys one thing we did do when these guys came in they were all in um one sack um positive and negative connectors and then these little guys too so what we did was we sorted them out and then matched their components 
and kept them in a Ziploc bag together, so it's made the job a lot easier. Because it's a little confusing. Yeah. So these guys, on uh, some of our panels, if you look, they're marked as the positive right there. Then if you look on this guy, they weren't doing that with this batch. So they put the... So they put this tape on They it. put the little tag on here telling you that's the positive. So, so we want to run the positive down into the box. The positive from this panel is going down into the combiner box. The negative from this panel is going down to the combiner box. And then the positive and the negative hook together, making these two panels a series the way I understand it. So we're going to have five pairs up here. And this is our last one that we're working on. Yes. So it's obvious that this being the positive, this is where it gets confusing because you got to plug it into this, which is the negative there. But that's how you got to, or that's the only way I know you make that connection there. So that's what we're doing. But we got all these really fancy tools to make the job pretty easy which are no longer available as this kit, which was yeah. a bummer. So, so you put that thing in there like that. You see that? Uh-huh. And then you slide that guy into it. And when there, you crimp it down, you get that. There is a kit that has these tools, but it's the next level up. So it's got some additional tools, I guess. And then this thing spins apart. All right, the little cap goes on. Don't let the silicone washer fall out. Yeah, learn from our mistakes. All right, and then this will click in, you'll hear it. You hear that click in. Well, then when this screws on, it cinches those closed and makes it waterproof. And then it has these two little wrenches. So that goes in there like that. And this will go on here. That all the way up. So this is the positive, and we're using positive on the uh, front uh, of the sets. Color coded wire, so we didn't get confused. So our front panel positives, which is this guy, the positive, now plugs into here, and then goes into the box. So then this panel's negative plugs into this panel's. Make sure you go underneath what? your yeah. crossbars. So this is the positive from this panel. See, positive. And this is the negative from this guy. So that puts these two panels in series. And now we hook this one up. So a little stripper tool. And you do want to watch when you slide those in. We have found if you go really slow. Yeah, you had slow, to say that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> if you go really slow, all of those little wires will go in. We were having troubles at first getting them and all And you in. have to push these all the way down before they'll release. And you can see they're all in there. And then, yeah, on the internet they show you to slide this stuff on different. So put on the ring, there's the snap. Put this guy up. There you go. And then plug her in. This negative goes back down to the combiner box. And that panel's hooked up, because I already hooked up the other end. That looks pretty clean. Yeah, you, can, huh? you got it anchored down yep, there. Yep, anchored down. Can... Everything's good. Here's where they, all, where they all come in. 
And so instead of just coming straight across, which would have been the easy route, the max fan is right there. And I was concerned I didn't want to have the lid hook on the cables. So that's why we routed this one just a little bit more. But um, yeah, we're good, right babe? I think we got this, this phase. And this all turned out really good and it's nice and clean. We anchored all of the wires to the rail. So now all we gotta do is tighten all these up. Hey Randy, what you doing? <laughs> You're all chipper tonight, aren't you? Ah, we're still pushing through guys. We're so close. We've got to be out of the shop tomorrow. So we want to get everything we can done on the outside of the bus pertaining to the solar and the roof. So we're doing some last minute stuff tonight. So let's see what Rainy's doing. I'm just putting foam over the top of this guy. Just to protect it when the roof goes on it. Uh, to make it watertight. Closed cell foam. You can see all of our wires going down in there, eh? I know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty this will go on like that. And I just gotta go get a couple of screws and put some screws in each side. Awesome. Okay, people. Night has befallen. <laughs> Yeah, we don't usually pull late nighters. We're too old for this. <laughs> but um, yeah, we made it. We got everything we needed to get done on top of the bus um, before we have to pull out in the morning. So we're so grateful the shop was open and that we got three days and we made it. We got all of our solar panels on um, and they're all wired and down to the main box. So we will just have to take it from there in another video because this has been a long day <laughs> it hasn't been that bad three days hard work Ooh, mama's tired anyway we're gonna um end the video here and just know that we love sharing the journey with you guys and we will catch you in the next one love to you all bye and that's what's up youtube